you can actually test what um you can test what uh, assist people are using because there's this whole big thing on on Le Mans where some people are, you're you're able to use assist online even in the cars you're not supposed to be able to you're actually able to use assist like stability control ABS um I do actually believe at the top level, maybe it's probably a tad bit quicker to run the ABS, but these guys are using like zero TC to be that fast, man. And, you know, TC is difficult in this game. But I tested some things out yesterday and let's just say I found, what, almost a second in putting the TC almost all the way down. I tried the different uh, assists and stuff like that, um, but definitely running your TC low it is, I think it's far quicker. If you can get used to it, obviously it's very tricky to do it. But um, so yeah, let me show you as well um, where you can actually go into the game files and check what people are using in terms of assists, which I think is pretty cool actually, because then you sort of, you know, um, if someone's just rapid, you know, you just got to give them the credit. And I'm not, I'm not too sure what, what's going on in terms of what they're doing with the assists because obviously a lot of these cars don't have like ABS and stuff like that. So why are you allowed to use it? I, I generally have no idea. So pop this up. Steam library, Steam apps. Common. The Mons Ultimate. User data. Layer, no, it's res I think it's log uh, and results. So these are all the races that I've done, I think. So I think it's like it's the qualifying sessions, practice sessions, and the races, and it logs everything. Okay, so what race was it? It was the 15th, maybe this one. And you get sort of these, this document page. And if you scroll down, um, if you scroll down near, near the bottom, I think, it's like, it basically gives you a rundown of each lap of the race. I think it was this race. Yeah, here it is. Right, once you get to the bottom, it'll have the person's name. Who is this? This is Mike. Rib nigger. Me. Is this the right race? No, this isn't the right race. No, wrong one. Let's go to... No, it was this one. Sure. Was it this one? Nope. Oh, what one was it, man? Ah, it was this one, because it was late at night, I think. Yeah, this is the one. So if you, you go all the way down to the bottom. <clears throat> and here you will see. Um, I can't say his name. I'm just going to call him Oliveira, right? So you'll go, once you go down to the bottom, you'll find their name. And you scroll down, and it'll have each lap by lap. It does it in seconds. So you can see the sector times, but the overall time is basically in seconds. So this was, this is a one minute 57 two right here, which was lap two of the race. And if you scroll down, it shows you control and aids that the driver was using. So he's literally just player control and automatic clutch and nothing else. That means he's not using no traction. He's not using no stability control. He's not even using ABS. So he is truly insane. Because <laughs> if you go to a lot of other people, you know, um, there's a lot of other people using like different things, you know. So, yeah, like player, con player control, TC on two, ABS one, stability control two, clutch, um, spin recovery, auto lift, auto blip. This guy was using everything. <laughs> he was literally using everything. So. It tells you, man, but I generally do think if you can master the game, it is faster not to use a lot of these things. But 
you know, maybe they shouldn't have it so drivers can use it in the first place anyway. Like if you're doing, maybe not in the rookies, I think in the rookie races, maybe you can let people use assist. But I think once you get into the silver and the gold, I think all these things should probably be banned because that's sort of the, the upper echelon of, you know, of the uh, ranked races. So I believe that's what they should do. I believe maybe they should leave the, um, the, the bronze category, allow them to use assist. But yeah. I don't know, man. So it's a weird one. Some of these cars don't even have assist in the real world, so no idea why they've got them in the game. But just here, I like this because you can actually see their sector time. So if you, you go in the game, you actually know exactly where you are weaker. And you actually, you can see, like, how his tyres have dropped off over the distance, man. But when I, when I looked at my fastest lap, because I've been practising ever since I, I watched him go around, so my fastest lap now is a 58.4. And where he gains all the time on me literally is the first and middle sector. Last sector, I'm actually only two temps off, you know. But um, first and the middle, like 44.0 is crazy, bro. I was doing 44.6s, you know. Um, and I was about 31, 7, 31.8 in the middle. So, yeah, he's... His lap times are insane. He's, I think his fastest lap time was a 50. What are you doing, Quali? A 56.4 or something? Crazy. But yeah, that's how you can get into the game files and um, have a look at what people are using. So literally, if you just follow this directory path, then you should be able to find all your races. It's, everything's dated, so you can just check the dates and stuff like that. So it should be pretty easy to find. I'm not sure how much how much space this is eventually going to take up on your computer because it literally is logging everything. Man. I might have to like delete these before long. It doesn't clog up my whole computer. 